Good evening, YouTube. I am coming at you with something that you are probably seeing a whole lot of if you subscribe to a lot of other channels that are doing the bushcraft thing or prepper thing or just, you know, just stuff that you would put into any kind of an emergency kit. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I may add a few things later. But this is what I have for now. And I do apologize that my phone just left a... I got a notification on something and I have my webcam sitting on top of my phone. So that's what this uh, green thing is. That's my phone case. So I'm using it as kind of a stand for this camera. But this allows me to show you what I have for your viewing pleasure today. I have not quite 60 subscribers yet, or I may have because I know a couple people might have subbed uh, earlier today. I was watching and chatting in a couple of live streams. But anyway, people are plugging other giveaways, so you know what? It's my turn. I have acquired a few things from various sources and stuff that I made myself. And I'm going to show them, and I will share them, but only after I get up to 150 subscribers. Some stay, some do it at 100, some may 200, but I'm going to give away some goodies when I hit 150 subscribers. Uh, some of my subscribers only watch my live stream videos, and that's fine. If they don't want to participate in this giveaway, if they don't want any of this sort of thing, you know, that's okay. But for those that are interested or want to have a chance to acquire some items that you may not have now, that I have extras of. So I will get into it. And the first thing, this, this is a glow stick. Actually, I'm going to adjust this light a little bit. There we go. This is labeled a glow stick necklace. It's green. The package color is the color of the light that it emits. But it's two pieces, two 11 inch long pieces and then, then down here is a little connector and I'll show you on the back side shows you how to put the two pieces together using the connector and I got this on sale at a grocery store it had to four of them and I bought all four a dollar each normally they're probably like 250 or something like that that's 250 US dollars because I'm in the US but anyway you could use these individually only pop one and save the other one for later so you can use it as just an emergency glow light or if you want to uh, stick it outside your shelter and then in the middle of the night if you have to go take a leak behind a tree uh, you want to see where your shelter is, you pop this thing, stick it on your shelter, and uh, there you go. It doesn't have a lanyard because they're meant to be put together as a necklace, but you could do that too. You could stick them together and then hang it on a tree branch or something like that. So that's the first item. The next item is I recently received two of these from Armed Rogue because I won a giveaway she had, but I am going to give one of these away. The one that I will give away is wrapped in the wrapper, plus I used the wrapper that was on this one, and it will be in the original box. And then the half that this one was in, I'm going to put other things in, but I'll show you how this works because I figured it out. 
It's got two handles on each side. Flip them up to hang. And when you want to turn the light on, I'll back it up so it's there are LEDs all around it. And then to uh, shut it off, all I have to do is collapse it. Push it back down. And you can uh, my uh, webcam will have to <laughs> readjust to the light, but uh, you can pull it up without pulling the handles up, too, because I tried that. It uses three AA batteries. Uh, I'm going to take the battery cap off. The bottom is where the batteries are at. So it uses three AA batteries, and they are included. So the batteries that will be in the light that I will be sending to the winner are in there. And all I have to do is, uh, there's a little tab that you have to pull out. And that will pop a battery out. Then you just simply uh, pull that tab out. And uh, put the cap back on. And it's ready to go. So this is... E-Tech City or E-Tech City. And uh, so it's got 30 LEDs. It's a great camping lantern. And I, will, I look forward to the time that I can use it. I have a bigger LED lantern that is probably twice as tall as this. And it doesn't collapse. And it uses big batteries. So anyway, so that's the second prize. And it will come in this box. And I'll show you what I, what I have in here so far. I put some other things in here. I will also send the instructions that go with that, that light. So I also received four packets of this military energy gum. There are five pieces in each pack. And they're caffeine loaded. I put two in my pack, and the other two I'm going to give away to the winner. So uh, I have not tried these yet. I actually, I just want to keep them in my pack so that uh, I have them for emergency use later. So I'll just pop those right back in the box. But I may be putting some other stuff in there because there is more room in this box. I'm just going to set these aside. And on to, I'm just using boxes that I happen to have just for storing things right now. The next part of the prize will be a first aid kit that I just put together out of some extra stuff. I received a first aid kit in a bag that I got recently a, with a red backpack and some some emergency items. So since I already have a good first aid kit in my uh, backpack, my my main backpack, I decided to take some of those out that I have extras of and put them into a kit for the giveaway. I also have in here, there's a, there's a little pair of bandage scissors. There's a plastic tweezers, which has never been used. Mm -hmm. There, There's a alcohol pads or some assorted bandages, some gauze pads, a little roll of tape, a, a small tampon that's wrapped and a cotton ball, so that can be used for first aid or fire tinder. There's some antibiotic ointment packet in there. I also threw in one of these, uh, this is a measuring tape here, just a little plastic one that I got uh, a few of these at some event that I attended, and there were organizations that uh, get these items made for them. Then there's a, little, there's a ferro rod in here. I don't have a striker for it, but 
you can, if you have a knife that has a flat spine, sharp spine, you can rip some sparks off a ferro rod with it. So I got three ferro rods a little while back, and I'm going to keep two of them, and I'm going to give one away. So that's ferro rod is just wrapped in there. So that's the that's another item for the giveaway. I also have two bungees with hooks, black one and a blue one. And these were used when I moved from my uh, condo to my current apartment. And so I had a whole container of these bungees. And so a few of them were used. So these are very, very strong bungees. They're better than some of the bungees I've had before. So, so and these are plastic, hard plastic hooks, so they should not uh, scratch on anything. But anyway, bungees are good to have, and I'm going to keep bungees in my kit as well. And now, so I'll have a bigger box. These will all go into one box when I uh, get ready to mail them out. And this is a coffee can that I have put some things in. And the first things that I will pull out are three of my homemade fire starters. I have them wrapped in foil to protect them during uh, shipping and, uh, you know, to prep because they are wax. They, you know, I use wax to make them. And, uh, but I have unwrapped ones that I'll show you what they look like. So one of them. This is a this is a big monster version of it. This is the wax dipped dryer lint. Looks very gnarly, I'm sure. But uh, anyway, so I have a uh, several of these that, but I put one in the giveaway. But I just want to show you what they look like naked. And in. And also, I waxed, I dipped some of these sisal rope pieces. I dipped all, I cut the sisal rope. It, I have a video on how I made these and the, the dryer lint fire starter. So I, I took one of these out of here and wrapped it in foil. And then I also wrapped up four of my, uh, cardboard fire squares. I just cut the cardboard, dipped it in the wax, let it dry. So there are four of these wrapped in pieces of foil. So those are the three fire starters that I will be sending to the winner. So I just have another bag of dryer lint. And uh, this is the the grass head that I found on the side of the road at a bus stop, which I nipped, decided to bring home. And so that is some, I'll be using that as tinder the, the first chance I get to go out somewhere, hopefully with a driver. Yes, I will be sending, so I'll, I'll be adding some other things. So out of the coffee can, I went to an event recently and picked up a, one of these hand sanitizers with the organization's name on it. But, so it's a hand sanitizer, pen top, so you can clip it in a pocket. And inside, oops, dropped something. I also have a Hot Hands 18 hour body warmer. So this is when you're going to be in the cold for a long period of time. Or you can put it in your sleeping bag at night and keep it near your chest to keep your core warm so your body temperature doesn't drop too much. So I'll be throwing in one of these. And I'm a bag recycler, so cough drop bag 
contains a fishing kit. There's a little this is a little spool of uh, fishing line. There's a rubber band around it to keep it from fraying off or unraveling and you just simply pop this out to get at the fishing line. These are film containers and uh, in this one I have some little rubber you know the the gummy lures just a, a sort of gummy lures the small ones and in this one I have a few different sizes of hooks I have that is a sinker and I have a few other smaller weights. I have a, a little bobber and some swivels in there. So all you need is a, a pole to uh, rig up as your fishing pole. And you can use these to uh, catch a dinner. So that is the uh, fishing kit. I just dropped these back in the bag. So that is the fishing kit that... Uh, I will be giving away. Just drop a step back in the coffee can. I don't know if I will use the coffee can as part of the prize, but it's just where I'm sticking things for now. So that is so that is the prize so far. And so that is the prizes so far. I may add more. I don't know. It just depends on what I get coming my way. So I am going to put this back up on top of my monitor where it belongs. So uh, now for how it works. How do you enter? It's simple. You say, I'm in. And anyway, you, you put that in the comment down there. And you have to be a subscriber to my channel. And do put your comment on this particular video. And again, this will not be a time limited thing. It will be a subscriber count. So if you're a subscriber, that's and you leave a comment that says I'm in, that gets you one entry. If you want, you can do a video response. It doesn't have to be uh, related to uh, you know what I got here, you know, this giveaway and what I'm doing with my channel as far as this sort of thing, you know, the prepping things, uh, emergency stuff, which I'm, I'm a newbie at it, and I will admit it, I'm a newbie at it, but I felt I decided to do that, I need to get into this stuff, and uh, so here I am, but I want to go ahead and share the love, and so when I get to 250 subscribers, and hope that YouTube doesn't screw with my subscriber count like like has been happening with other channels so gotta check your subscriber counts because there may be some weirdness going on so I will be checking that also but again if you want to do a video response that will get you three extra points three uh, it'd be like entering three times more and you can say things like uh, you know what you would like to have in your emergency kit or bug out bag or uh, you know disaster kit or something like that what you would like to have that you don't that would be a good subject for a video response and 
if I were to answer this sort of a question myself, I would have to say, I need a driver. I would love to have a driver because I don't drive. So I would love to have a driver who can uh, get me out of Dodge when the uh, crap hits the fan and I got to bug out. I got to blow this joint. So I would love to have a driver. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes when you're stuck riding city buses. And some places I want to go, I can't go because I can't get there by bus. But anyway, so, yeah, make that the subject of your video response. What you would like to have in your kit if you were able to get it, but you don't have it now. You know, another thing I would like to have is I don't have a bivy bag to put over my uh, very light sleeping bag. It's a very old one, but I don't have a bivy bag. I don't have uh, a military style poncho that I could use as a tarp. I don't have a portable saw other than what's on my uh, multi-tools. I have two multi-tools now, but they have just little saws that, uh, that won't cut very big things, but you know, I have them anyway. So those things I can add later when the funds become available, but I don't have those right now. But yeah, things like that. So again, subscribe, put a comment below saying I'm in, and in your video response if you choose to do one, talk about something that you would like to have in your kit that you don't already have, and uh, you know, who knows, maybe it will come your way. So again, thanks for watching. And when I hit 20, you know, 200, you know, 150 subscribers, I will unload the prizes and send them out to the winner. And I've got to figure out how I'm going to pick the winner. I may let my cat do it. But who knows. So again, thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.